Jim Alpizer with Garmin. Pretty exciting announcement here at Oshkosh just before the show opens. Something called the G5. What's this announcement you gave us today? So we are really excited to announce G5 for certificated aircraft. Back in April of this year, uh, we actually introduced G5 as a uh, backup gauge for, uh, uh, for the non-certified aircraft community. Since that announcement, we've had just tremendous interest and excitement from the certified aircraft owner base. And we've been able to work with the FAA, believe it or not, to take this brand new G5 and now have that STC approved to go into a wide range, over 500 aircraft makes and models, huge range of certified aircraft that are out there. So now we can bring this life-saving solid state technology into aircraft that had older aging attitude sensors and gyro-driven systems that are failure prone. And so by removing those older antiquated systems, we're actually able to bring a whole new range of technology into the cockpit. The attitude replacement is the primary piece of information that we're providing. That's what's included on the STC. But G5 also has support for secondary information of airspeed and altitude information. So that's available in the cockpit and just a great viewing environment for folks that are maybe not flying behind a piece of glass today, but have an older aging system in the aircraft that they want to get rid of and get something with some proven reliant technology into it. And how much is that piece of technology going to cost? Uh, good question. Technology like this before would cost many, many thousands of dollars, but for $21.95 is the price that the G5 starts at for uh, certified aircraft. And what kind of installation are they looking at? Are they looking at several days down or? No, oh, absolutely not. No, the installation time frame for this is super, super simple. It's basically power, ground, ties into the existing pitot static system of the aircraft. And then it's also going to take a GPS input. Or if you don't have that, you might install a, a GPS antenna. But if you've got a GPS in the aircraft that's compatible today, then you're probably looking at really less than a day or so. So you're talking about most Cessnas, Pipers, I saw in that video, it was being installed on a Grumman, so you've got a lot of airplanes on that AML. Oh yeah, yeah, huge number of aircraft. There's gonna be most aircraft flying below 6,000 pounds, and aircraft that are really just kind of flying around with older, antiquated technology inside of it. It's a tremendous accomplishment to, to be able to bring this type of technology into uh, to general aviation. And the quality of that display, it comes with a backup battery built inside of it. It really is going to be peace of mind for folks that are flying IFR or flying VFR and being able to have a good, reliable piece of attitude information. Now, you had a lot of other information at this news conference today. You talked about the new Flightstream 510, which is a, a really interesting piece of, of technology that's going to really broaden out the way people use their, uh, their Garmin systems. We've been trying to simplify the, the flying experience. It's just what we've been doing for many, many years, quite honestly. And the next pivotal point in that is the introduction of our Flightstream 510. And then a whole new way of thinking, which is database concierge. Our database concierge is basically going to greatly simplify the database loading experience for you via that Flightstream 510, which can be installed in a GTN 650 or 750. One of those Flightstream cards, which is going to take the place of your existing SD card, our new Flightstream 510 card is a Garmin-developed, Garmin-manufactured, Garmin-designed piece of technology that includes Wi-Fi capability as well as Bluetooth capability in order to do your database loading and then do flight plan transferring and sharing of uh, weather and traffic across portable devices as well as across the avionics. And so the Flightstream 510, the biggest thing, again, is being able to simplify the database updating part of it. A single Flightstream card then enables you to do all of your databases inside of that cockpit. So if you've got dual GTNs, one card covers both of them. If you've got a G500, 600 installed, one or two of those installed in the aircraft, again, with the one installed in the GTN, all that data then gets routed through the GTN to the rest of the cockpit. And so you're not having to spend all this time at the computer doing all your database updates as we've done previously. You have this Wi-Fi card that then uses your Garmin Pilot application on your tablet, and you're able to basically have this really seamless experience to do database updating. So maybe the night before your flight, you're checking weather, Garmin Pilot can automatically grab those databases for you that need to be updated. It loads them into your iPad or your, your mobile device even. It doesn't even have to be an iPad. It could be a an Android or an iOS operating system mobile device. You take that device out to the aircraft. As soon as you turn on the, the GTN power, it's automatically going to connect to your mobile device over a Wi-Fi connection and, uh, and basically stream all those updated databases in there. And then it's going to network it across the entire aircraft if you have other compatible products on board as well. So really an incredible advent for general aviation. The price, I know you want to know the price. <laughs> We're going to bring all this to you for $14.99. And you're expecting that to be certified very, very shortly. Yes, we actually have TSO on the Flightstream 510 card already, and then the only thing that we're waiting on is the final approval for the GTN software update that makes it all compatible. We've got the Garmin Pilot software out there and available for it today, and we expect the certification to happen here early in August. So.
Great. Well, Jim, thanks very much. Hope you have a great show, and it's nice to see you here at Oshkosh again. Oh, thanks again. Appreciate you guys coming by. Aero TV is brought to you by...